Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix if you're getting an error saying the Steam underscore API DLL is missing error on your Windows computer. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to just jump right into it. I should note there will be a slightly differing solution if you're running the 64-bit operating system versus the 32-bit operating system because most people are going to be using a 64-bit computer in today's day and age. That is the one we're going to be pretty much following through in this tutorial, but I will show you guys the 32-bit fix as well. I know that seems to be a big problem with these kind of videos, and I just wanted to address both of them in this one. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, I'm going to open up Edge because it's most convenient because it's right on my taskbar. And into Google, I'm going to type in steam underscore API dot DLL download. And I'm going to hit enter. And one of the best matches that comes up should have a www.dll slash files.com. You want to download it from this site if you want to follow along with this tutorial. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to scroll down on this page. I'm not going to select this client demo button. I'm going to scroll down until we get to the available versions area. Please note in this tutorial, everything is free. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to download any installers to get this program. It's just going to download the zip file. So if you're downloading any weird executables, um, you're downloading the wrong file. I'm just going to say that right now. So we can see we have a 32-bit version available and that happens to be the only one that's currently available for download and that's fine even if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows you can still use the 32-bit DLL file so I'm gonna select the first one here and I'm gonna select download it doesn't matter if you're running a 32 or 64-bit version of Windows at this time the download will be the same for both of you guys so it's gonna ask what you want to do with this file I'm gonna save the file and then I'm gonna open the folder so now at this point I'm going to minimize out of our browser. There's a few other files in here from other tutorials I've done, so I'm just going to delete them here so we have only the download we just downloaded. It should say Steam underscore API. You want to double click on it, and there we go, we have the DLL file right here. So what we have to do now is head over to the Start menu and left click to open it up. And now you want to type in File Explorer. Best match it comes up should say File Explorer right above Desktop App on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Windows 8 should just say File Explorer. You want to left click to open that up. And now you want to left click on the View tab on the File Explorer window. So it should be the fourth tab over. And then you want to left click on this Options area on the far right side. Now in the folder options window, you want to left click on the view tab and then underneath hidden files and folders, you want to make sure the show hidden files, folders and drives is selected. So if this circle is filled in next to it, you don't have to do anything. However, if it's currently set to don't show hidden files and folders and drives like that, you want to switch it over to show hidden files, folders and drives and save the change by clicking on apply and OK to save that change. Once you've done that, now we can left click on this PC button still underneath the File Explorer window. We still have the Steam API folder over here. I haven't closed out of that by the way. But like I said, under File Explorer, we're going to go underneath this PC. And then I'm going to go underneath my local disk, or you guys should go underneath whichever disk the program files and everything else is installed on. Basically, whichever drive Windows is installed on, most people will be the C drive, some will have a D drive, some might be using an external drive that has Windows installed on it. I mean, it really depends, but most people should be the local disk. So I'm going to double click to open that up. And now I'm going to go underneath the Windows folder. And now, depending on what version of Windows you're running is very important. If you're running a 64-bit operating system, you want to scroll down until you get to System32. If you're using a 32-bit operating system, you want to look for something that says SysWow64. So S-Y-S-Wow64, W-O-W. 
and you want to double click on the folder so we are assuming most of you guys are going to be using the 64-bit version of Windows so we're going to model it for that version so now in our downloads folder we have the steam underscore API there's a file that says .dll type is an application extension we want to drag and drop it into the system32 folder over here so I'm just going to just pick it up and drag it over it should say copy to system32 you do not want to drop it into one of these folders you want to kind of put it off to the side and then you can see while well, I'm still holding down the left mouse pointer it says copy to system32 that is correct and then once you have confirmed that you can release your mouse it'll say you need to provide administrator permission to copy to this folder left click on the continue button and it will take a moment not too long and now at this point I'd recommend closing out of both of these windows and any other web browsers or applications you may have open restart your computer and your problem should have been resolved at this point so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial Goodbye.